Okay, I just got done building the Soft Rock RX Ensemble 2 receiver and put it into its case. Very nice uh, hard case, metal, beautiful. Uh, there's nothing to tell you that it comes on though on the regular circuit, so I went ahead and I put an LED in. I drilled out this case and put an LED in. There you go. That's what she looks like from the outside. Nice. And then once she gets working with HDSDR, this is what you get. Right now I'm listening to Radio Australia. At least I'm attempting to. Yeah, there you have it. About 9 a.m. Uh, our time here in the States. Just making some room. Uh, my dad gave me a uh, my dad gave me a power supply out of a computer. And I figured that the other power supply I had that was 12 volts was geared more towards uh, radios such as this one, the 7800 by Isa. The thing is, it's louder than the Dickens with the fans, so why not just get a regular computer power supply, right, and convert it over? So that's what I did. I cut everything out except for the 12 volt wires and my ground wires, and I went ahead and I put in a LED here so you know that it's on. Yeah. So when I click this on, there you go. It comes on, the rig comes on, it transmits. Welcome to TRAC 375 Machine W8RZM Repeater. Yeah, I even get these cool lights out of the car, the bottom of the car. I couldn't mount them on anything, so I figured why not just build them into the room here? It looked cool. And it does kind of throw a little mystique about the room. And there you have it. So I want to shut this off. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the rig first anyway. There we go. And then I'll shut this off. And you'll see the power light go out. Coolness. <clears throat> Back to Radio Australia. It's amazing what a $59 shipped kit will do when you build it. <clears throat> Excuse me. How you can actually pick up Radio Australia, Radio Romania International. I mean, I'm getting these stations that are thousands of miles away. Uh, Radio Romania International, I looked it up, and it's like 9,000 miles from here. That's just insane. But yet cool, you know, to know that I can get it realistically and <clears throat> reliably every single night when I tune in. Uh, and now I'm getting Radio Australia, and that's thousands of miles from the U.S. as well, so... Uh, the signal's looking pretty good, too. Um, taken over by the state, and, and they fought it. And starting in a very good So we'll come back to Radio Australia, because I always do, because I love, I love anything Australian. <clears throat> right now, though, I want to get into um, WWV and just see what it's going to be strongest on here. So I'm going to start with five. Decent. But now that the sun's coming up, 10 and 15 should be stronger. There's 10. Now let's go up to 15. There we go. That's gorgeous sounding. I mean, beautiful. Hardly any noise. I never could understand those people, even when it comes in clear as a bell. Anyway, I'm going to get them back off of noise reduction here. Now we know that sounds good. I'm going to go back to the nine, uh, 9580 real fast. Yeah, nine five nine zero. 
Uh, 9590, <clears throat> excuse me, 9580, which is coming in, it's okay, you can see, or 9590, they're both the Australian station, so it's transmitting at 9580 and 9590, 9590 looks better. This thing picks up DRM like nobody's business. I don't even know how to say the last part. Digital radio monandial, I do believe. Or monandial, or whatever. Kind of a combination of French and, I believe, Italian together. And uh, I never do say it right. I probably butcher it. Once I learn it, though, I'll get it down. Anyway, with just this little receiver, the Salt Rock RX Ensemble 2 receiver, your laptop here, uh, and Dream... All you got to do is use HDSR here, find a dream signal. Um, normally 9800 during the day is when it would be broadcast. You can't miss a, a dream signal or a dream signal. You can't miss a DRM signal because it's big and bold. <laughs> and it just comes in. It's It takes about a section from here to here. And once I get that on this program, then what I'll do is I'll take the volume here and just turn it all the way off and then go to Dream. And since Dream has the decoders in it, once it gets it and I know it's going to, it just automatically pops in out of the blue. And here you go. you got DRM software. Um, I'm waiting on a Creative Lab Sound Blaster card to come. Right now I've got just your run-of-the-mill Joe Schmo uh, sound cards off of eBay for $15. You do get what you pay for. This only allows up to 48 kilohertz of sampling on uh, recording and playback, I do believe. But the Sound Blaster I have coming does up to 96. I would prefer to, got a, uh, to have gotten rather 192, but you're going to pay more money, obviously, the higher that you go with your sampling rates. So I think 96 is a good compromise. So tomorrow this little guy will be gone, and I'll have a nice black unit here, and it'll be Sound Blaster with the little control dial over here. Um... And this is, right here is my audio end. So I basically have two of them. That's why I went out and bought this. This comes in from the Salt Rock. This is going to come in from the SDR1 that I'm getting from Electronics is Fun and Hitchman Labs. So I'll have two SDR radios. Uh, my, my original one that I built over here and the second one coming in the SDR Labs will be here. Now this is a K42CW keyboard kit that I built. And I'm going to put it on top of my other reader. Or uh, on top of my SDR1 rather. So now I'm going to have two SDRs. Yes, no. I just I started using uh, the knobs, and uh, then I started using the uh, the um, SDR programs here, and it's I like it. I like SDR so much better because you can see so much of the spectrum at one time. You have to guess when you're turning knobs, and I don't like that. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to go back over to the Australian channel here. That may not be, uh, no. No, that's not Aussie. That's not Aussie. you got to go to 9580. There we go. Or, or 9590. Anyway, another cool thing is let's go down to, uh, let's go to 20 meters real quick. Pardon me. Yeah, I want to do 20 meters real fast, just to see what we can get. I mean, it's the daytime, 20 meters starts booming in during the day. So I'll go ahead and take it down. Probably somewhere in there I'm going to start getting people now. Change it to USB. And listen to the tapes yourself. That's all you got to do. Listen to the tape recordings yourself. There's another one. Yeah, and there's one here. Welcome to Egypt. Congratulations on the upgrade. Over. Yeah, it's so awesome, man, to just know. What I like about it the best, I guess, is to know that I can do, see, and, and get every single station I could in with a hard-wired rig or a knobbed rig, if you will. I can get every single station in with this little fella. It's just the software that defines the rig. Big SDR. 
but I can see all these stations at one time. I don't have to guess. I mean, I love it. I know that at 14265, there's somebody talking on there. If I had my old rig, I would have had to stay here and just started whirling and whirling around until I got lucky and picked it up. And I mean, in a way, that's kind of nice. It's like fishing, I guess. And it's adventurous for some of us, but I honestly like to be able to see what I'm getting. Um, people like this kit so much and what we can do with this thing that I got my dad wanting to get one. So I'll be building him one. Anyway, 73s for now. Just want to give you an idea of what you can do with the Salt Rock Ensemble, a laptop, the better sound cards on the way, my other SDR ones coming, and then I'll have my station complete. Um, my dad gave me this power supply. I got it converted over for that rig. Amazing how it's coming along going the software route. I'm staying hardware obviously for my UHF VHF <coughs> Excuse me, but one more thing that you can do that I like is CQ 100, right? I mean, it's kind of the equivalent I guess of uh, HF for the internet CQ 100. It's like the echo link for the VHF UHF And it's okay. So I'm gonna go explore that a little bit 73 to you. Have a great day and a happy new year to all